Good morning from Gimbroni. We are about to hike Pip Ivan. This mountain is one of the tallest in Ukraine at about 2,000 meters. So we have about nine kilometers to go from where we are here in Gimbronia to the top and it's going to be about an elevation gain of 1,200 meters. This hike is considered a little bit difficult to do in one day so we're actually going to camp. and already we can see it. It's at the top of that mountain, the one in the background. We're heading towards the observatory. It's called uh, White Elephant or Billy Sloan. So last summer we hiked to Averla and this trail feels a lot different for a lot of reasons. One, it's a road at this point. It's not even a trail. And when you're in Hoverla, at the beginning you like really walk through a forest. Um, and this forest is just it feels different, but I'll say because we're walking on a road and not like on a trail. We'll see what happens a little bit further up here. So by about 9.30, all of the morning mist had burned off and it was pretty sunny. This trail doesn't have much tree cover. So once the sun's out, you get it full blast. So about two hours in, you finally get some tree cover. Uh, you may be quicker than two hours. We're a little bit slow. So it's nice to get some shade from the sun. We're very hot. You can probably tell. <laughs> it's just cool to have different environments. Like when you're hiking, sometimes you're like on the plane and there are cows. Sometimes you're in the forest. Halfway and we've made it to the waterfall. Halfway-ish. So we're a little bit more than halfway up the trail. We found a good place to pitch our tent, so we did that, we had lunch, and now we're gonna go the rest of the way to the top. It's a long way to go. So I don't know how far we are from the top. I'm hoping like we're on the other quarter left. That's what I'm hoping. But we just heard thunder coming from over there. And there was rain in the forecast for today. We were just hoping that we wouldn't get any. Because um, the forecast has kept changing every single day. I definitely see the rain over there. Like three ridges back. I can't tell if it's moving this way or not. I feel like the wind should be pushing it that way. George is going faster. Make it to the top. Straight up we go. I 
Well, it definitely is clouded over really quickly behind me. And we're feeling drops, so we'll see. We just want to make it to the top of this little ridge and then get the view. We're definitely not going to make it to all the way to Pipivon though. It's still like four kilometers away. Not much elevation gain, I think. I'll need probably 250 meters at this point, but too far away and rain. So the bad news is it did rain. Got my rain jacket out really hard, but only for about like 10 minutes. And we just got under one of these big rocks and just waited it out because it was even like too much to try to go back down. But it was over in like 10 minutes. At least that rain was. So we're gonna keep going. And I'm really glad we did because it's so beautiful on this side of the ridge. On the trail, everyone says like Dobrid Den, Dobrid Ranok, all the other greetings that I'm bad at pronouncing. And often people will ask us where we're from. I don't know if it's because they hear us speaking to each other in English or if they're just being friendly. But people always seem really surprised when they say we're from the United States. Though we actually met another guy from the United States on the trail, so a bit off the beaten tourist path though. We have to go all the way over there still. Ah. It's gotten really windy up here. One hundred more meters. That's what the sign means, so one meter. About eight hours after starting this hike, we finally made it. The Billy Sloan, or White Elephant Observatory, was actually built when this part of Ukraine was part of the Second Polish Republic. They started building it in 1937 and finished the following year, 1938. But it was only really in use for about a year before the Red Army came and occupied this part of then Poland. It basically fell into total disrepair after World War II, and it wasn't until the 1990s and early 2000s that there was some interest in renovating and restoring it. But now as you can see, there's a lot of work going on in the observatory, and soon, hopefully, it's gonna be restored and be an active part of the Carpathians. We hiked back down to our campsite and spent the night. It was really cold, so I recommend that you definitely pack for some chilly weather, even if you go in August like we did. But it was hard to beat the view that we woke up to. expecting to do in that photo or video but the final bit always just seems to be straight up why are there no gently sloping mountains to climb in Ukraine <laughs> <laughs> 